Oh man, it's nice to hear through these pines. Yeah, it is. It feels really good. It smells nice too. Yeah. I always love the smell of pines. Hey guys, welcome to the channel. I heard my son Kevin. We're gonna ride up Car Canyon. He's up there in front on his 300L. I'm back here on the little CT because I ain't got my forks fixed yet. Seals ain't come in yet, but hopefully in another probably be two weeks. <laughs> but hopefully we can get some seals put in it so I can start riding it some. I had to go ahead of him and set the pace because he's too fast. Hell yeah, he don't want me roosting him. This thing throws roost like crazy. Spins the tires every time you touch the throttle. See, there's that car house information center. It's never been open that I know of. Not in the whole time we've ever lived here. It is 92 degrees down there in the bottom. And we're going to see how cool it is up here. Of course, we won't know. I mean, I looked online and it said that it's 75. That's a huge difference. Getting close to 20 degree difference just by going up the mountain here. There's Graham Jarvis. He, wish, wish. he wishes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's what I was just saying. I wish. If I had his skill, I wouldn't have to worry about a dang thing. Ain't no <laughs> doubt. I didn't have to worry about money. Yeah, that's for sure. It's already starting to cool down. Yeah, it see. Is. Yeah, we're at 5,600 feet right now. We was at 46. We went up 1,000 feet already. It's crazy how fast you climb in elevation. That gets kind of slick on them little off cambers over there on the edge. That loose gravel. Yeah, see now good I can balance. I yeah. <laughs> yeah, you turn your wheel, you be down on your head. Oh yeah. <laughs> on that loose gravel. Definitely looks a lot different than the last time I come through here. Yeah, this road's better. Now, now, it only goes so far up here to the curve, one curve, and then it gets rough again. Unless they've done it further since the last time I've been here. I haven't been up here in quite a while. Not since I came up here and there was snow on. Yeah, if it was 90 degrees and we were in Missouri right now, it would oh my be gosh. bad. Miserable. <laughs> It'd be so humid, <laughs> be miserable. It's here when it's 90 degrees, it, feel, it don't feel bad at all when you're riding, at all. Because it's always at least like 85 to 87% humidity, and that's a lot of humidity. Yeah. Oh, holy crap. And here it's like 10%. Oh, wow, big old rock fell. Yeah. It'd be well, I don't want to stay under rocks too long. That's why I. That's why I don't like overhangs. Yeah, you hang it, it's getting over in a ditch, and one them fall, you'd be in trouble. Because people say, "Oh, well, they've been there so long for a reason." Well, yeah, but look at all the ones that's fallen over time. They fall. <laughs> yeah, but they've been there. They've been there so long. That means they haven't fell. Yeah. That means they can fall. <laughs> and they're more prone to the older they get, obviously. Yeah. They, they'll get more brittle over time with the weather. That's the way it gets. Yep. Oh, that could have gone up that part right there. Yeah, this is a lot smoother through here. Last time I remember, the road main just end about right here. This it was looks the, like it does. Yeah, this was the end of it. Yeah, you can see it. This is the end of it. Starts getting rough. 
real sandy on these borders. Yeah. There, I think they're going to, that one guy told me they was going to redo it all the way up, but I don't know when. I'd rather them not, really, because if they do, it just make it where people drive faster on it. More people will want to come up here, too. Yep. People just drive more crazy in their Subarus. And a lot of people's going to be going off, too, because I've seen a couple of tall beer cans on the side. Yep. That's probably what some of them cars were on the side uh, that we've seen in other places. Yeah, where they went off. There's part of a Subaru laying there in the road. Was it a Subaru? <laughs> part of some car. Plastic out under one. I don't know what kind. Probably one of those... Uh, Toyota Prius. Possibly. They would come all the way up here. <laughs> I've seen crazy stuff up in this rough, rough roads. Yep. We can look up here at this lookout, probably. This is the road I can see from the house. Ooh. I got a little bit dusty up here on that one. Yeah, I know. I'm behind you. See you in a week or two. See you in a couple of years. Yeah, car up here. <laughs> yeah, with old family in it. So you know that thing is squatting low. Dragging the bottom. That's me right here. It's not made for cars. And I can see the cars at night time. I've seen them in the day, too. If you catch it just right, you see the reflection of the windshield. At night time, you see their headlights coming down through yeah, here. Yeah, look at the tracks. It's definitely a side-by-side -side or a four-wheeler up here. Yeah. Yeah, I see them knobbies. Somebody's leaking oil there or something, too. I was about to say, there's no way it's a car coming up here and there's that much dust because they're not going that fast. Uh -huh. I don't care what you're in. Did you see that oil? Yeah, right there in the road. It's right in the middle where you're riding. Uh, I thought I saw a dark spot in yeah, the middle. Yeah, keep right there, on, right there by your wheels. It's all up through here, a whole line of oil. Yep, right there. I see it still. You, can you see it yet? Right here? Yeah. Whole line of oil up through here. So somebody hit their oil pan. We go up here and see which car broke down. Or side by side. I don't have a skid plate. Yeah, it could be. Not near as likely. Probably a a Toyota Prius or a Subaru. <laughs> yeah, see, because it was ripping through here. See how much it was. Like, oh, there's there's a lot of oil there. See how much it was ripping up through here? Mm -hmm. They were on the gas pretty well. Yeah. It's getting rougher, actually. Oh, there's a lot of oil there. So it's still here. I think it's going uphill from the looks of it. Yeah, this road's actually getting rougher because so many people tearing it up. Yeah. 
Could you imagine trying to be on this when there's ice? Oh, man. This is like one of the roughest spots right here. Pretty rough. I mean, this is an oil pan city for a car. <laughs> good place oh, yeah. to... Dang good place to bust your oil pan. There's still hey, oil there. Probably that minivan that was down on that one trail. I just thought about it. Yeah, that one that was leaking oil. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's probably the same one. They probably just come through here. <laughs> It's still they, they probably just That's probably why they have a minivan. So they have room to fit uh, like a bunch of extra oil pans. Yeah, they carry. So they, they can just change it and go. <laughs> they probably just carry barrels of oil in there. Yeah, they just drain oil for a while and then they uh, and then they swap out their oil and, or pop off their oil and change the pan. <laughs> oh, big bump. Oh, it feels a lot cooler up here. Yeah, it does. A lot cooler up here. Feels real cool in that shade right there. Break time. Water break. This is probably one of the best views we're going to get, right? Yeah. <sighs> You're dumping gas out. Really? Mm -hmm. Oh, I did fill up a decent bit. It kind of splashed over. So it's probably running out the overflow. Didn't we modify yours? Yeah. Yeah, that's why instead of going in the canister, it dumps it out. <laughs> Which is a heck of a lot better than anything dying on you all the time. It feels better up here, a lot better. So a lot cooler than down there. There's car peak up there. But the thing is, the road don't go that high. It'd be nice if it did, but it'd be a heck of a probably a rough road to get up there. Get all the way up to the peak. Not me. Well, I ain't. You fall and die. You would if you climbed that right there. <laughs> you better go around to the easy side and come up. Oh. This is the roughest spot in the road right here. Yeah. And it, you keep saying that all the way up. It no, I said rougher. <laughs> no, this is the roughest spot right here. That was I said it gets starts getting rough back right back there. That's, but that's the worst spot. There's a heck of a hole right there. That's probably where. I don't know. That was a big hole. That's a big old hole in the road. It's way oh, it's worse than it was. Cool right here. It, it that hole's way worse than it used to be. Look at that there. What's that from? That's from the mine, and they had another deal up there, probably, and they took the ore down the hill there. Oh. That's where they had those wooden tower things on top of those cement, those cement pillars, or bases, I guess you call it, foundations. That cool, cool up here. Feels nice. It is. Crazy the difference here versus down there in the bottom. It was really good. 75 degrees, 20 degrees difference, a big deal. That sign said one way, Kevin. Did you not see it? Look at it. One way. Look. Oh, maybe I went the wrong way. <laughs> I almost thought about going the opposite way. If you'll stay about right there, I won't get dusted out. 
course, there was a car up here. You might be in trouble. Uh, uh, you should be on the just outside. Slam, just slam into the hill. In front, and I'll be on this side, and you can let me know if there's a car. As long as you're not way up there ahead of me, dust me out. Well, as long as I'm just, like, lugging it, I won't dust anyways. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Not too bad. Not like non-existent. Oh man, it's nice to hear through these pines. Yeah, it is. It feels really good. It smells nice too. Yeah. I always love the smell of pines. in that third gear too much through there. <laughs> third, I'm in first. First and second. <laughs> third gear, I gotta be on the highway. <laughs> <laughs> okay guys, we're gonna get out of here. Thank you all for watching this video. Click the thumbs up, subscribe down below if you like it. Lots more videos on the way. Catch y'all in the next one. Right on.